Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do these really fun owl nails. So the first thing you want to do is choose your base colour. So I've done mine all in purple and I've gone for Purple Burst by Jessica. So you want to paint that all over your nail and let it dry for a little bit. Then you want to take your second colour. So I've gone for a dark purple which is Lincoln Park After Dark by OPI which is this really, really dark purple. And I'm going to take a really small dotting tool and I'm going to just dip that in Lincoln Park After Dark and create two kind of curved stripes going down the nail. So one that side and then one the other side. Then I'm just going to carry on using my dotting tool and fill that in. Then, using the same dotting tool, I'm just going to do two dots up here for the eyes. Just like that. Then I'm going to take a white, so I've just got OPI's Alpine Snow, but any white that you've got will do, and I'm going to dot that underneath my two little eyes with the same size dotting tool. So I'm going to do three in a row and then underneath that I'm going to do two more. Then carrying on with the white I'm going to do two dots in the eyes. Like that. Then what I'm going to do is take my base colour again. So that was the Purple Burst by Jessica. And using the same dotting tool, I'm going to dip it in the purple and dip it kind of on top but slightly above the dots that I've done on the body. So it kind of covers up the first half of it. Like that. So it kind of looks like little half moon shapes and it creates the feathers. And then what I'm going to do is take a yellow. So I have gone for Barry M's yellow and it's this bright yellow. And I'm going to use the same dotting tool again and create a little nose or a beak and little feet. And then going back to Lincoln Park After Dark, which was my dark purple, I'm going to do two little dots in the eyes. And then finally, I'm going to take a toothpick and dip it in my white and just do some little, three little stripes in the top, just to look like feathers. So once you've done that, you can let it dry for a bit and put your top coat on and there you have some really fun owl nail arts. So give it a go and let me know what you think and I'll see you guys later. Bye!